Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about interface in java programming so guys an interface is a fully abstract class it includes a group of abstract methods methods without a body so guys interface is having similar properties of that of the abstract classes wherein it will be having the different abstract methods that will be implemented by the subclasses now guys like abstract classes we cannot create objects of the interfaces as well to use an interface other classes must implement it we use the implements keyword to implement an interface so over here the main difference is instead of extends keyword that we used in the abstract classes we are going to use the implements keyword in order to implement the interface so over here for example you can see we have the interface keyword in order to define an interface followed by the name of the interface and as you can see we have the template of this method that is get area of the polygon interface so get area it will have its own set of parameters as well as the return type now guys as you can see it is not having its own definition inside this interface but the definition will be defined by the subclass which is going to implement this interface so over here as you can see implement the polygon interface so we have another class that is rectangle it implements this polygon and inside this rectangle class we have to implement this get area method that got implemented from the polygon interface so as you can see we have this get area method over here followed by the same set of parameters that is length and breadth that we defined it over here inside our interface and then it is having its own set of lines of code over here so guys let us check this with the help of examples now so over here what we are going to do is first of all we are going to define an interface with the interface keyword followed by the name of the interface so it is going to have the polygon as the name of the interface now we will create a method in order to calculate the area of a polygon so we will have the return type as void followed by the name of the method that is get area and then it will take two parameters that is length and breadth so over here we will define length comma and then we have int breadth so guys it is going to take two parameters and then since it is not having any body we are going to close this with the help of a semicolon so as you can see we have defined the template over here that is the get area method it is going to take two parameters and it is not going to return any type over here now we have to implement this interface on the other subclasses so we will create a class called rectangle over here so we have the class rectangle now in order to implement this interface we have to use the implements keyword so over here we have implements keyword guys remember that in the classes we used to use the extends keyword but in the interfaces we have to use the implements keyword and then followed by the name of the interface that is polygon and then we will have its own body over here but guys as you can see we have a red underline over here it says the type rectangle must implement the inherited abstract method polygon dot get area int int so as you can see this is another type of abstract method that we had defined over here since this is a template so what we will do is we will just use this option that is add unimplemented methods so i'll just click over here so it is providing us with the name of the method that we want to implement that is get area so what i will do is i will just have the print statement over here which is going to calculate the area of the rectangle so over here we will have the string as area of rectangle is and then we just have to multiply both the numbers that is length and breadth in order to get the area so inside the brackets we will have length multiply by breadth as the area so as you can see we have defined the area over here as well so area of rectangle is length into breadth will get printed over here now guys in order to call this method that is get area what we have to do is since i have already told you we cannot create objects of this interfaces so first let us check what error we will get if we try to create an object of this interface that is polygon so we have object polygon over here as the object of the polygon we have new keyword followed by polygon 
So as you can see, there's a red underline over here. Cannot instantiate the type polygon. So guys, this is proved that for an interface, we cannot create an object. So I'll just remove this line of code. But instead, what I will do is for this class that is rectangle, which has implemented this interface that is polygon, we will use this class in order to create the object. So I'll just copy this and paste this over here. And we will have object rectangle. It is equal to new rectangle followed by open and close brackets so over here there is no such red underline and now we will use this object that is object rectangle over here and then followed by dot and then as you can see we have this get area being suggested by eclipse ide so i'll just provide this get area method over here so we have to provide the length and breadth over here so let's say we have three as the length and 5 as the breadth so it is just going to multiply two numbers and print the result over here inside this get area method so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as we can see area of rectangle is 15 and in this way we can create an interface and implement it in any of the subclasses and then we have to implement the methods that we had defined in the interface itself now guys one important question over here why we use the interfaces cannot we directly have the get area method inside this rectangle and implement its own lines of code over there so guys that is also possible but in order to achieve abstraction that we had seen previously abstraction in java is one of the most important properties that we can achieve using this interface keyword so inside this interface we are just providing the template of a method and that template can be used in several subclasses that we can define now guys let me just create another class so let's say we have another class called as triangle so we have class triangle and we also want to get the area of the triangle so over here how do we implement this interface so we have the implements keyword followed by the name of the interface so over here we are going to have the implements polygon and again it is showing red underline over here so it says the type triangle must implement the inherited abstract method polygon dot get area so again we have to implement this get area now guys it will have its own implementation over here the formula might be little different so it will be half base into height so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and i'll put area of triangle as what we will do is length multiply by breadth and then we divide it by 2. So we have divided by 2 over here. I hope this formula is correct for now over here. So as you can see our code will look clean over here. That's because consistently we are using the same method names over here that is get area and then get area over here with the same set of parameters. The only difference is we are using different classes over here. So guys the code looks cleaner over here and there is no possibility that we have different method names to do some similar task over here. So what we will do is we will create the object of a triangle class over here. So we have triangle class followed by object triangle equal to operator new and then we have triangle over here so we have the triangle class and then this object will be used so object triangle followed by the get area method so we have get area and then in order to get the area what i will do is let's say the base and height is 5 and then we have 4 so 5 into 4 divided by 2 will be done in order to get the area of this triangle so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see area of rectangle is 15 that was the first computation that we had already seen and the next thing is area of triangle is 10 that was 5 into 4 which is 20 divided by 2 because that is the formula that we have given over here as you can see it is length multiplied by breadth divided by 2 so the answer is 10 over here so guys in this way we can easily use the interfaces in order to achieve abstraction in java which is one of the most important properties as far as writing clean code is concerned so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own as far as these interfaces are concerned please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that that we are going to talk about is polymorphism in java programming so stay tuned